So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. I know that Coda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face.
glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. But, of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. <laughs> 